It, it's been a pity because we, we, we just picked up a couple of injuries. So, you know, Fahim, I thought, went outstandingly well the other night. Um, bowled great lengths and, and was looking good. I would, I would have loved to have seen him back, but uh, he then did a calf muscle, so he put him out of this game. Ramon Reese is injured. He's probably out for the, out for the 2020s as well. Um, Harris, we tried to get through the fitness test in Abu Dhabi. He just failed it. He was pretty close to getting through, but then just failed it. Um, and... You know, the, the, so they all just they all just mounting these these little injuries. Baba's got a got a grade one tear of the groin, but he just wants to play on. So these are all things we need to take in consideration. We're going to do a couple of fitness tests today and then come out with our team. But uh, you know, we want to go for the kill, so um, don't expect too many. Is it is it disturbing for the team? Um, to be honest, the player acted unbelievably well. He did everything required of him. Um, we we had a chat straight afterwards. He, he came and saw me. We came and saw the colonel. It was handled. Brilliantly, and I think that is a real example to to our team, and a real example to to the cricket world that a, that a, a, a really important player was approached and acted to the letter of the law, and 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 did exceptionally well as a as a true ambassador of the game. And do you think that raises uh, more importance for mentoring and monitoring the young players like Hassan Ali, Shadab, and others who can? I'm very comfortable with where our players are. Our players are outstanding. They're all intelligent young men. They're unbelievable individuals. Um, I've got no doubt that if any of them were approached in the same way, they would have acted in exactly the same way as that person did.